everybody. Welcome to Brickball. My name is Jack. Today we've got a creator set for you. This is the Fairground Mixer. Believe it or not, this is an expert level set. It is rated for 16 and up. It is set number 10244 and it has 1,746 pieces. I think I got that expert level rating because this thing spins around. The mixer itself spins around in a bunch of different ways. And on top of it having all these functional gears, it should all be able to fold itself up at the end of the day. Included are a whopping 12 minifigs and one of the guys comes with stilts. All right, let's check out all the bags inside. All right, so the box contains only three numbers, one, two, and three. A bunch of bags for each of the numbers, which means it's gonna be a lot of building for each step. And uh, there's three manuals, including just a little bit of stickers on the inside. This is probably gonna take quite a while, so let's get started right now. Right, the set is done at a four hours build time. That was a little bit longer than I was expecting, but this thing has a ton of functions. And I think I'm gonna go through this set just in terms of how everything folds out and turns into the fair. So we have just two trucks that make up this entire set, but there's definitely more than meets the eye. Let's start with the bigger one first. And here he is for scale next to the minifig driver. So yes, this is one massive build. And looking down the entire body of this big truck, it's kind of hard to see what you're looking at, really. There's so much stuff that's folded up. So first, let's take the trailer off and look at the main cab. Looking at it head on, we see a lot of really nice details. The ride logo is printed onto the front there, the mixer. I can remember from my county fair, this machine was called the Scrambler, but I mean, this thing probably has a lot of different names. There's one massive grill in the front with a bunch of lights. I do like the pieces used for the windshield wiper, and that is a sticker, both for the uh, mixer decal and for the front license plate. From the side, we've got some other nice details. The door opens, it's a really thick build for the door. And of course, like any Lego vehicle, really, you can just pop the roof right off. So taking a closer look at the interior, let me just pick it up. We've got a TV screen, or I guess that's a computer screen at the foot of the bed. And in the back there are two seats, a coffee mug, and a slightly bigger build for the steering wheel. And looking at the back of the truck, we have this sort of box with a crank on it. It's easily detachable. And on one side, there's actually a trash can sort of resting on there with a lid that basically always falls off. But this crank is what ends up attaching to the main gears for the mixer. So there's enough of the cab. Now let's move on to the main body of the truck. And I 
guess let's start by disassembling it and taking off all the equipment. First, let's take out the two racks here. This makes up the sort of safety fence. And there's also this Technic piece that works to hook up the gears. So now let's start setting up the actual mixer. And the first thing you need to do is unlock it. All you have to do is pull this little Technic piece down and that wheel somewhat raises this back trailer ever so slightly. All right, so here it is folding out. When you get a closer look, you can see that it just kind of snaps into place on either side with a couple of clips. The seats fold out pretty easily. They don't actually connect in to any studs. And that top diamond shape folds open nice and easy. So there it is. It's a great little function right here works just like the real thing, but we're not quite there to get the mixer fully operational. We have to fold the stairs down. There's a nice little control console. I'm assuming that is what would be operating the mixer. And the next step here is setting up safety. We have these two clips on either side for making the perimeter gate. So you have to connect both halves of the gate and they are actually, that is where the trash can goes, as you can see. It's not a perfect circle, as you can see, but if you spend enough time, you can get it looking very symmetrical. Now here's where that longer Technic piece goes in. There's just a little hole there and that gearbox that came off of the front truck cab fits into this Technic piece. Now we're totally ready to go and it's a pretty solid function. Also it's worth noting to say at this point that you can very easily switch out a motor if you want to. This gear crank can just kind of be replaced by the motor and you can even fit it underneath the stairs kind of. So as you can see the function works pretty well. The minifigs can fit pretty easily inside the bars. You just fold them down and fold them back in and then you just spin them around. Also, there's one more awesome trick that is sort of hidden up the sleeve of the mixer, if you will, and that is that a lot of these pieces are actually glow in the dark. Usually if a Lego set has glow in the dark pieces, it's really not very many, but there are a ton all over this thing, and it looks really great when you turn off all the lights. So with that, I'm pretty sure we've pretty much wrapped up the uh, mixer part of the set, but there's quite a lot fit into this smaller truck almost an entire fare, really. Let's take everything out and go through it one by one. Well, first, let's take a look at the truck. The truck is really colorful from all sides. There's just a bunch of kind of stuff going on, I suppose. The front of the truck has some decent details, though, of course, it's not quite as beefy as our larger one before. And we've got a nice sticker detail right on the front that says Lego Amusements. The roof pops off and inside is just a pretty simple build for a single seat, a regular steering wheel piece, and a red mug. All right, now let's take everything outside of this truck. You can fit a lot of the looser pieces inside the dunk tank and the rest of the loose pieces inside the ticket booth. I like the red and white stripes that go around the walls. We've got a simple but nicely printed detailing for the ticket prices. And I think my favorite aspect is the folding open sign with the multicolored lights that go around the border. It's a simple bit of building, but looks very effective. Turning around the back for the interior, we see a tiny little register or calculator. And those drawers contain both cash at the top and the second drawer has little orange ticket stubs. Now the ticket booth is nice, but the next two builds are some of my favorites. Here is the dunk tank first. Got a couple of nice little sticker details on the front. There's the target, also a sticker. And the best part about this dunk tank is that the function totally works. I mean, it works really well. We've got our minifigure ready for the dunk tank in a wetsuit. She sits pretty easily on the very top and a tiny little bench for the balls that you throw at the target. As you can see, the function works really well. She falls right into the tank and a nice little added touch is the expression that comes with the minifig. Something tells me that that water isn't very warm. It really is a great little fall away function. I don't know if they could have made it any better than that. I really, I don't know if they could have made it any better than that. The mechanic pretty much is the same as a real dunk tank. Righto, so moving on to the very last of the builds for the fair. Here are two little hammers. Great builds for both of the hammers. They're actually better than uh, some of the other minifig weapons that we might have seen for like Harley Quinn or something. But of course, we've got hammers for a reason. And that is actually because I forgot to bring out the last item from the truck. It slides out from underneath. And you might be able to guess what this fair, and you might be able to guess what this thing is. Also, another great working function. Depending on how hard you hit down on the target, it'll move this little Technic piece up and down and uh, yeah, it works fine. It's a nice little build. I like the colors and that gold dish element at the top is a pretty uncommon piece. Looks good. And with that, let's move on to the minifigs. I'm gonna go through these guys pretty quick now. This is our first one. He is a carnival worker. He's got the nice red pants, striped shirt, and a gray hat. But what's awesome about this guy is he comes with quite a few accessories that make him extremely, extremely unique. He's got a nice build for a silly hat, which double functions to show sort of a suspended in air juggling act. And he's got extended legs to show he's 
on stilts. Even though the bottoms of the feet are flat, it is nice to know that the legs can be posed a little bit askew. Our next minifig is a scuba girl. Pretty simple detailing on the front and back. It's mostly just a black minifig. She's got a blonde ponytail piece and two expressions. I do like that secondary one quite a lot. And here is our truck driver minifig. He's got sort of a gape mouth open with a beard and some very simple detailing. I do like that the print for the hood is also on the back. Next guy up, here's a minifig with a very nice print for the torso piece. Gold sash with uh, flowers all over and a bow that ties off in the back. I think it's relatively uncommon to see that hair piece in gray and her job I think is to hold down the ticket stand, at least from the manual. Our next minifig once again has a wonderful print for the torso. He's definitely a surfer, or maybe that's a snowboard. Oh geez, I don't know, but the design looks great. He's got kind of the surfer blonde hair piece, so who knows, but the print for the face is nice. It's smiling with a little bit of scruff. Now I'm pretty sure all those minifigs before worked for the fairgrounds. Here is our first customer, an extremely happy guy in a jacket, but he comes with one of the best alternate expressions of all time. This is exactly what happens when you have too much cotton candy before you get on the mixer. Here's our next minifig. We've got a relatively common piece for the torso, sort of a tank top kind of dress but we don't often see legs molded with the sand green color, so that's kind of a cool piece to have. And here is yet another civilian minifig. There are 12 in total. This fig has printing for a blue collared shirt, as well as a seashell necklace, I think. A very standard smile, and I think that is a pixie cut hairpiece. Now we're into the realm of the children. We've got our classic spaceman on the front of this. We've got our classic spaceman on the front of this shirt, and this kid is smiling with a baseball cap and some ice cream. This minifig's got a nice print for a jacket. I like those blue highlights on sort of the sweater Sweatshirt, and we've got a pretty uncommon color for this kind of ponytail hairpiece. She comes with a teddy bear. All right, this little girl minifig has a nice print for some glasses. They almost look like sports glasses on her face. A braided ponytail, very colorful tank top, and she comes with a ice cream pop, a lemon pop. All right, and the very last minifig of the set is this happy kid, or he's maybe the sad kid. Depends on the expression, I suppose. Very simple print for the front of the chest. Mostly just solid colors that make up this guy. And he's got a bowl cut hairpiece. That is it for all of the minifigs. Here's the entire set together. This is a fairly high part count, but came with a ton of minifigs and a ton of little things to do here. This set feels super complete. I'm really happy that all the little PlayStations actually work and they work all very well. The mixer itself functions phenomenally. And this is a set that I really enjoyed sort of learning all of the different different procedures and folding the whole thing up. There's a lot of things that you kind of have to know in order to get it to work properly. And it makes me feel just a little bit more invested in keeping this thing around. All right, and with that, this episode is now complete. Our city is still in a very fledgling state. We don't have a fire department or a police department or a hospital for that matter. Yet these irresponsible minifigs thought it'd be a good idea to throw a party. Anyways, if you want to buy this set, I have left a link in the video description below. If you enjoy our content, you can always like or subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching everybody. I enjoyed making these videos for you all, and we'll see you next time at Brick Vault.